Hello everyone, in this video we are going to learn about ngram. ngram is contiguous sequence of the n tokens. In the NLP, the tokens normally word or characters. So when the n is 1, we normally call it unigram. Say here's the example, fine, thank you. In the word level unigram, we have three tokens here, fine, thank, and you. And in the character level unigram, you can see each characters are one tokens here. And when the n is 2, we normally call it bigram. So here we have the same example, fine, thank you. In the word level bigram, you can see fine, thank, and thank you here. So we have two tokens here. And in the character level bigram, you can see two characters as one tokens here. And when, is, when n is equal to 3, we normally call it trigram. Since we have three words here, in the word level trigram, we have one token, fine, thank you here. And in the character level, we have the three characters as one token here. So why we are talking about ngram here? Well, firstly, the ngram helps to overcome the back of words drawback, especially ignoring sequence of the words. And you can see there, there are next word prediction and the find misspelling application and more with ngram in the NLP world. So let's briefly talk about the back of words drawback here. So the sentence here is machine learning is fun and is not boring. Well, if you are using the back of words here, then the, you can see this representation totally ignoring the sequence of the word. And we don't know if there is machine learning because there's just one count for the machine, one count for the learning. And also we don't know the not is uh, followed by boring or the not is followed by fun here. So this sentence is exactly same as machine is boring and learning is not fun in the back of words world. So in this case, we can try with bigram. So if you use the back of bigram here, then you can catch there is one machine learning and the not is coming uh, before the boring here. Say here, the machine learning is one term here and that the not boring as token now. So now we know that not is coming before the boring, not before the fun here, right? And here's one example for the next word prediction. Say we have three sentences here. How are you doing? How are you? And how are they? So say we have the trigram here. So we have two, how are you? One, are you doing? And one, how are they? And uh, here's the knife next word prediction. Say it's knife. So it's not the very advanced technology. I'm going to just give one example with the probability model here. When the user typed how are, what is the maximum probability word that can come after how are here, right? So we have the given data here. We have the how are you and the how are they. And the you, the count of the you is higher than they. So we can just give the you uh, instead of the they here. That's one live way of the next word prediction using the trigram. Well, let's talk about the naive spell checker here as well. Uh, here I have the example of the character level bigram. The data was uh, quality, quarter, and quit here. And the user typed QWAL. You can check the spelling here. And from your data, from your knowledge base, there is no QW and there is no WA. But there is QU with count 3 and there is uh, UA with count 2. So you can suggest that, hey, uh, you better use QUAL instead of QWAL here. That's one of way of the naive spell checker. So I hope this uh, Nangram video helps you to understand the Nangram and its application. Thank you, and I will see you on the next video.